Hypercar Mountain. Hi, this is Larry Hatch, and welcome to another exciting episode of Hypercar Mountain. Today is a special edition that some of you have asked for, well, at least by category, American supercars. Um, we've got a lot of them coming, like the C8 Corvette, but we don't have a lot of those in diecast yet. I know Tomika's got one they're working on, and I'm sure Hot Wheels and everybody else will do that as well. But today we're going to focus on the Dodge Demon and Hellcat. Um, the there are two Hellcats, basically. One is a four-door Dodge Charger, and one is a two-door Dodge Challenger. The Demon is exclusively, at the current time, in the Challenger family. And a lot of people don't know this, that really the Charger and the Challenger and the Chrysler 300 are pretty much the same chassis. Uh, in the past, they've had the same set of engines, you know, like a 3.5, a 3.6, 6.1 Hemi, uh, that sort of thing, and they've all had SRT versions and RT versions. Um, the Hemi versions in a 300 were called the um, the C, the 300C. Sometimes the 300 Sport Hemi. Not all the sports are Hemis, though. By the way, and we'll just get that out of the way. Uh, the name Demon is not a modern car. It's been around for a while. Uh, Chrysler was looking to make a Dodge version of the Plymouth Valiant, which was known as the Duster. And I think some of you may remember those. Those are some kind of old school hot rods, muscle cars. And they had a 340 engine making roughly 275 horsepower in the 70s and they were going to make a Dodge Dart version of it which I've got pictured right here and in fact the Dodge Dart Demon was originally going to have a different name it was going to be called the Beaver well there's obviously one big problem with that um, somebody pointed out to the marketing folks that Beaver especially uh, on CB radios had a different meaning and a lot of Americans would know that so the Valiant Duster became the Dodge Dart Demon interestingly enough and 275 horsepower was a lot for the time especially in such a small car although those things were some heavy beasts so I just thought I'd start a little bit with the history of it but what we want to talk about is this thing in green here, the lovely Hellcats and the Demons. Um, there are many different versions of these things, and here's a chart that will kind of help us get started. Uh, and we're talking about the Challenger Hellcat and Demon, just to simplify things a little bit. They both use a 6.2 liter supercharged engine, and they're done differently and get different results. Basically... The Hellcat has 717 horsepower in the original base version. The modern Red Eye bumps that up to 797, almost 800. And the base Hellcat did does about a 10.8 quarter mile. You'll see them anywhere from 65 to 80,000. Uh, the first one I saw was like 82, but that was kind of in a fancy neighborhood um, and today right now in 2020 they sell both the regular Hellcat and the Red Eye side by side and either one of them can be a wide bodied form or not uh, the Demon in the base version is about 808 horsepower very close to the Red Eye but it's a whole different thing and we'll talk about that in a second if you run it on race fuel such as 100 octane it'll get you up to 840 horsepower with a 9.65 quarter mile and expect to pay between 90 and 110 thousand or more uh, used is going to be quite a bit lower I'm sure the demon besides having a um, a huge 
huge spoiler on the hood. Um, most of the ones that you'll see are these stripped down versions. Um, they have different packages, but generally they take out the passenger seat and the rear seats. So it's not a cruising car with just the driver's seat only. And the Demon also comes with a special set of drag racing tires. And again, it's set up to run on 110 octane or 100 octane to get top performance out of it. So that's a little bit, again, it's a generalization, but we'll start with that. Uh, the first car I want to talk about is the Majorette Hellcat. Beautiful car. Uh, again, being a Majorette, there's hardly any chassis detail. Uh, the wheels are pretty firm, and the doors open. I've got a nice uh, bright green version here. Uh, the headlamps are clear plastic and look kind of good. Uh, the tail lamps are nicely detailed, and the wheels in this particular example are multi-spoke chrome. They have a lot of spring to the wheels, so it's a good quality car. Feels really nice. And uh, we'll talk about a couple versions. In this medium bright green version, um, there's a couple different variants of that. Um, one has a green hood like mine. Another has a black hood, which on the side doors have a, kind of a fat black slash marks on them. So it can have the, it can be an all green car or one with the black hood and the slash marks that have white lettering on the tires in the black spoke version and then they have this uh, silver spoke version. Uh, there's also a silver with the black hood and the black slash marks and black spokes. That's called the Zamac version. There's also a pink and white Dubai Am ambulance version, yes, it's kind of like a paramedics rapid response car. It's kind of a picture of a woman on the door and it says female responder. Uh, as you may know, in um, Arabic or Muslim countries, um, a male doctor is generally not allowed to look at a female patient. And um, as a result, they need female paramedics in that particular car is uh, about that. There's also a blue version with white letter wheels, a purplish blue version, kind of a violet blue with green wheels, and um, that's the glow in the dark version, you know, where the wheels glow, and um, it's got a big cat face, the whole cat face on the door. That's a good looking car too. Uh, the next car is very similar to it. In fact, the chassis are about the same and the wheels in their construction. Uh, it's the Majorette Demon. And it comes in red and black for the most part. Uh, there's two versions that I know about. The one I have here that has red flames on the door and a red hood. Uh, there's one that has no flames on the door and a black hood and that one has a lot more red to it uh, my example as you can see here has uh, silver rings and very subtle black spokes inside uh, the details of the tail and grill are about similar to the Hellcat but the bodies are not the same and that's a good thing on the Hellcat version, the spoiler is about a third of the width of the hood, which is accurate. And on the Demon, uh, the scoop or uh, front intake is about 60 to 70% of the width of the hood. So kudos to them for making those different. And they're immediately different because on the back of the Demon, there's a little, um, what do you call it, like GPS type antenna on the back of the roof and that is not found on the Hellcat versions that I have. So let's continue. The next car, car I want to talk about is the Greenlight Hellcat. 
and this one is a charger it's a beautiful four-door charger and I have a another matte black charger like this but that one is an RT this one is distinctly with the Hellcat logo on the uh, front fender like the real car it's got lots of detail on the front and tail lamps and it's a very beautiful very beautiful car uh, nothing opens on it but hey it's a nice matte black look and it is part of the black bandit series all black wheels and a black car uh, the Charger Hellcat from Greenlight also comes in a bright red version. It comes in a dark jade green version, which is part of the GL Muscle Series. And that's going for $28 to $50, so that's a, that's a buy. Uh, it also comes in matte black with green spokes. That's the Black Bandit version called the Green Machine, and those go for about $40. So similar to my car here, except green spokes, uh, that's pretty rare too. Um, let's see, there are two other versions that came with a truck in a trailer. One is yellow, blue, and white. That has a Michelin theme to it. Another is blue, white, and black, and that's got Mopar markings on it. Both of those come with their own truck and trailer, and for some reason... You get all three of the vehicles for less than what some of the others cost. They must have made a lot of those. Anyway, um, the next car I want to talk about is this beautiful matte black Black Bandit Challenger. Uh, it is not a Hellcat or a Demon. I just wanted to talk about it uh, because it was the first of the high-performance Challengers in the scale 164 that I liked that looked really great it's got tread on it it's got details front and back it's got very solid metal chassis with lots of detail it is an RT um, not an SRT either but I just wanted to present that because that was the car that got me hooked on the green light challengers to begin with and just to throw it in there for comparison uh, let's see here we got two more left uh, the first one is the lovely Hot Wheels Demon in kind of a dark um, slightly metallic uh, ruby red uh, bordering on burgundy and it's a demon with very bold five spoke black wheels and it's got a very wide hood scoop not a lot of detail on the back the taillights are just body color and again the front headlamps grill just body color very simple 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 hot wheels nothing too elaborate to it um, let's see here that comes in the dark red with the black markings, black spokes, and is uh, generally considered a 2019 issue, perhaps 2018 as well. Uh, the next car is actually the same car, but customized. And this is a shout out to one of the eBay customizers named Timmy T77, I think it is. Well, anyway, I'll put a link to him. And he actually took the Hot Wheels Demon car and downgraded it to a Hellcat same exact car in fact it says demon on the back of it or underneath it but he put some beautiful Hellcat markings with a big cat face on the hood and the side and I guess you know hey the Hellcat logo is probably prettier than the demon logo and uh, a real expert could tell you immediately that it's not a demon because the hood intake scoop is too wide to be a Hellcat. But anyway, these are what I have and what I like. Uh, there's some other stuff out there, and I invite your comments and questions and criticisms and everything about it. So here's a couple of American supercars, and uh, 
Let's go and collect. Have fun. Hypercar Mountain. <laughs>